the website swpc.noaa.gov. This is from the weather enthusiast um, the solar wind prediction one right here. Now you'll notice up here you see the time and date. That is UTC time. So depending on where you're at in your region, you want to add um, the time and make that the correct uh, time frame. This green circle over here, you see these green circles on these two partial circles? In the middle of there, that green circle is Earth. I guess it's more of a square or a diamond. Now let's pull it back and let's watch. And you can see when the actual solar flare leaves the sun in the center of the circles over here. That yellow circle right there, that's the sun. See the solar flare leaving? That's a good size one. That's that first one. And that says October 4th at 10 uh, UTC. Um, so if you add for me in my central time zone, that's 1500 UTC, which is 5, or excuse me, that's 3 p.m., right, on the 4th. 3 p.m. on the 4th when that first starts to come in. All right, now here we go. We're going to come into the next one. That's the X9 solar flare. And that one's right there, right? So that's 1,800 hours on the 5th. And that's just when it just first starts. Look at that energy, man. Whoa. All right, so you can see right there, over here on these graphs, you can see how it hikes up, where it peaks, that's where the energy is coming in. So this is just the beginning part of it at 1800 UTC. So look up your local time zone to see when that's going to be for you. And you can we'll let, go ahead and let it play through. And look at that. Dang, look at all that energy. That's pretty impressive. So we're going to expect to see that in the next two days. And probably more because there are a total of nine solar flares leaving the sun. And this takes a while to update. So when that solar flare left a couple of days ago, no one, none of these graphs showed that. It didn't show that it was leaving the sun. It looked like a clear day. So hydrate, let yourself t spend time in meditation, rest grounding, whatever it is that will assist you in balancing the energy, because these light codes are meant to be really helpful for us. They're good things. It's just, there's a lot of fear mongering around it. And I just wanted to show this to everyone. Look at these light codes. These are going to help us out. The worst thing that could really happen is we'll find maybe some little bit of dizziness for some people who have a little less um, uh, immunity in their bodies. And Perhaps some of the electronics won't work the best. Um, just, you guys got this. It's going to be awesome. I'm sending you all so much love. Aho blessings.